I don't know if you can hear them, but you probably can. The birds are going absolutely wild. Um, and I was actually woken up by them because they were being so loud. so much for taking the time to be here with me today just as you are my name is Elle welcome back to my channel one of my intentions for this year was to just really delve into shadow work and just overall heal I have been wanting to get into shadow work for probably about like the past five or six months like I've known what it is since then and I've always thought that it would be really like releasing and helpful, but also incredibly terrifying because we all just bury things in us and sitting down and really giving those things that you buried, like those emotions, those experiences, the space to come up again is really terrifying, but really just releasing because yeah, your body holds on to just so much trauma, yeah, that you just don't remember anymore, or like, that you refuse to process. So, shadow work is basically just bringing those demons, I don't want to say demons, those demons to face, those issues to face, the things that you shove down. Um, for however many years, it's just about bringing those up to the surface and working through them. And... That's really scary, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna say that I'm not scared shitless to really just find out everything about myself. Um, but I know it'll be worth it and I know it'll be like incredibly eye-opening and freeing and just absolutely liberating, but that doesn't make it any less scary. So, I wanted to share with you a few like journal prompts I've found for shadow work. The first is a Twitter thread by the user Readings by Xteen. Her name is, I think, <laughs> I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, um, but her name is Christine and she's just this tarot reader that I follow. She has a thread on her Twitter called 365 Days of Shadow Work. Yeah, so I'll leave a link to that in the description. And then Harmony Nice just recently uploaded a video i believe talking about just like her daily daily practices um to implement into you know your daily day 
that made no sense. I'll link that video down below too. And then that video that she posted just also had a lot of good journal prompts in it. Ones for inner child um, healing. Do day three, I have a cute little sage green moleskin. I think it kind of matches my hair. <laughs> um, or at least like the underneath. Shadow work is really scary, but it's really beneficial and I'm just, yeah, I want to talk more about it and like perhaps like document my time doing shadow work and talking about it and just like everything. So if that is also something you guys would be interested in, let me know. But the question that I'm doing today. Ooh, this is fitting. Am I willing to feel uncomfortable at times when I need to grow and change? Take a look at the best and most enjoyable aspect of your life right now. What is your underlying fear and why? Is it due to something from childhood or your past? On this saga of what you're set up on, you're set up on a the box of peanut butter pretzels, the salt and pepper grinder that we have, and a box of peanuts. We're making French toast, and Kira's making chucky milk. So we're having a good time. It's a nice, fun Sunday morning, a nice gloomy Sunday morning. <laughs> that was even better. <laughs> doing um i got home from work about over an hour ago whenever i get home i sat down and filmed a asmr video and right now i'm just smoking a little so that is why my thoughts are a little scattered if or if it seems like i'm a little frazzled that is exactly why and I'm just watching Isabel Page's new vlog that she uploaded yesterday. Oh my goodness, I watched this video the other day. I am just trying really hard to unlearn a lot of just mindsets that I have and just self-limiting beliefs. And I watched this video the other day titled let people dislike you and as someone who strives and thrives so much off of external validation I'm improving now like genuinely I am so much better than I was last month I'm so much better than I was six months ago I'm so much better than I was four years ago but there still is like that part of my brain that's like nothing you do is good until someone else tells you it is which is so ridiculous that is absolutely ridiculous but the video is basically talking about once you give the power to let them dislike you basically you are unstoppable that's me very much summarizing it up you know because people are gonna like you dislike you regardless and there's nothing you can do to make absolutely everyone like you because you don't like everyone so why do you expect everyone to like you? It's so exhausting <laughs> trying to get people to like me <laughs> and it is so exhausting feeling like I have to receive external validation to feel worthy 
And I am trying so hard to unlearn those habits and really just stop myself when I'm doing them. But sometimes it's so hard to catch because I genuinely don't even realize. It's such a common thing for people to say things like this, but when stating something, they'll be the, me especially, and like, I know I'm not the only one to do this, and I've seen other people do this, but they'll be like, oh my god, I'm so stupid, this is what I did, or like, I'm a crybaby because blah 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 blah. Like, you're putting yourself down before you even know if the person you're telling things to is gonna put you down. Like, you're putting yourself down before you have the chance to get hurt, or like, by other people. Which is so much safer. Like, not safer. It feels safer because in your brain, you're like, if I... If I already say, if I say words, if I say those words and they hurt me, like, if other people say those words, they won't hurt me because I already said them. You know, like, you already put it out into the air, so they don't have a chance to say it, but in actuality, who knows if they would say it? Like, why would they say that? Like, why would they be... That negative voice, like, the, it is so exhausting and just so time-consuming spending so much brain power trying to get people to like you. And I am so, I'm not, I don't want to, I'm not frustrated with myself for <laughs> being like that for so long because I didn't know any better. It's once again just like that guilt, just feeling guilty that I didn't treat myself better. And I still don't treat myself as good as I could. Like, I know that. I am very much surface level in terms of spirituality and finding myself and just literally learning everything about me because I'm scared, like I'm scared to go deeper into myself. I was writing yesterday that I was scared that I won't like me. But that is so incredibly unfair for myself because if I don't like me, who else will? <laughs> that sounds toxic, I feel like, but genuinely like if I don't show up if I don't start showing up for myself and like if you don't start showing up for yourself and start being for yourself and start showing yourself that you care and that you know you love yourself like who else will like it's not even like trying to sound negative like that I don't even th I don't think that's negative but you have to start showing up for yourself. I have to start showing up for myself. And it is just such a hard learning process because I, as a child, I was never given really a safe space to express my feelings or emotions. They were always invalidated or I was judged or I was called a liar and just really, Hearing those things for so many years, those self-limiting beliefs are drilled into my head. So for a very long time, anytime I would have a large emotional outburst, I would invalidate my emotions and call myself a crybaby and be like, I genuinely have absolutely no reason why I was crying because I have no reason to be sad because I was told I had no reason to be sad, but... I, you can have everything in the world and still be sad. It was just really shitty to not have that safe space at home. 
I love having these honest little heart to hearts. Since creating this new channel, I've, I think when this video goes up, I will probably only have roughly three videos up, probably three videos. But it is just so wacky how much more comfortable and how much more free I feel like the comfort to like express myself and the comfort to just truly be who I am I feel like is shining through more than ever and I still have a really long way to go I do but I'm not going to discredit myself for the progress I've made I said, like, there will be people that won't like the stuff I make. There will be people that won't like me. That doesn't, that shouldn't stop me from making content I like. That shouldn't stop me from being my true self. And that is so absolutely lame that I've held myself back for that long. But I'm working on it. And I want to be able to just fully 100% be my complete and authentic self in every single aspect. We have a little friend on the little fence post. Astrid! I bet yeah, I bet that's exactly who they're looking for. Monday. Just got out of the shower. I'm about to make some breakfast. I think it's nearly 10 a.m. They're yeah, gonna make some breakfast. It's gonna be a feast because we have a full day ahead of us. Hopefully, I actually remember to film it because.
This is a moment that I fall in had a lot of ambitions today and we didn't fulfill all of them and that is completely okay right yeah because not every day goes exactly how you plan it and yeah there were some moments where we were both frustrated we were both like okay we actually just really want to go home but we persevered we had a lovely picnic we saw the stars. Oh my god. Listen. Like, I think I mentioned last time. Or, I keep literally referencing last vlog like it was the last chapter and you're reading this like a fucking book. We had a lot of ambitions and it's important to know whenever everything doesn't go exactly your way that things can still be really pretty and like work out because we got to see an absolutely gorgeous sunset that we also thought we perhaps wouldn't even get to see but we did and it was stunning and we got to see stars and every single little bad thing that happened throughout today didn't matter anymore yeah. because we were at our final destination for the day and it felt just really good yeah. to like be there. Definitely like an at peace kind of moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once again, growing up in, like, a small town and, like, moving somewhere to where you're not able to, like, have access to things like that, like, at the drop of a hat, is so, is a thing to get used to. Because, like, yeah, being able to walk out of my house and see the oh, stars yeah, literally. I had versus, to walk, like, 10 feet. yeah, like, you had, to, you, we could look outside, we didn't even have to go outside, yeah, I mean, we could look at our, like our own bedroom window and like see the stars and like just that not being the reality in like a city which granted I'm not I feel like every single time I talk about that like I'm dissing being in the city I don't think but like I love the city for a completely different way I feel like I had kind of like hard eyes for the city like I had this like the city as in like just any general city um it was going to be so amazing and like once again I am just disappointed by the picture that I painted in my head because like I'm disappointed because it's not meh, I'm disappointed because it's not the picture I painted in my head whenever things don't go like that I just get so like discouraged it's hard to like see that things are so okay whenever things don't go exactly like how I wanted in my head or the things can still be good, even if it's not exactly what I wanted. Yeah.
did some more damage at the metaphysical store. Not even mad. Never mad. So I picked up another 26 <laughs> sticks of incense. I believe I picked up many different scents, flavors. Peace of mind, tranquility, I believe, myrrh, evergreen, um, and just some others that I genuinely don't quite remember. And I picked up some herbs because the new moon is this Friday and I want to put together some like self-love satchels for my roommate and I. Um, so I just picked up some whole um, rosebuds and petals. I also just picked up eucalyptus and lavender. Yeah, Kira also got like 20 si sticks of incense. Sticks of wildberry incense. I got a box of patchouli incense. Um, Oh my god, the candle snuffer. Oh my god, we got a candle snuffer! Yes, I completely forgot about that. To snuff things. To snuff things. And then yeah, this is...